I'm going to read a little poem called The Mole and the Cosmos. I wrote this for my friend uh, Philip McCracken. Philip's a great uh, American sculptor, um, a genius of the, of the West Coast. He does powerful little statues of things like uh, whales and herons, all sorts of animals. But I love the mole that he did last year. It's, they say moles are blind, but we think they just might have their eyes closed. Mole means earth digger, living under the earth, digging and digging all day. Your face pressed into the mud, pushing away rocks and sticks and roots and bones. Sure, wouldn't you love to come up at night time and just stand there in the field as a small mole and look at things far away. And the further away they were, the better. So I wrote this poem and I, this was written to wish Philip well with his exhibition in Seattle. And he took my poem and he put it on the wall of the Cisco Gallery, from the ceiling to the floor. And in the middle, he stuck the mole greeting the sun. So, the mole and the cosmos for Philip McCracken. I have taken down a piece of the night sky just for the night. At mole's suggestion, I have put it by the window where it looks glorious against the mountains. Some say moles are blind, but it's just that they like to look at things far away, like stars. Sometimes when I step out to look at the night sky, I have to ask mole, what's what and where's where? And mole, as if he were a poor country fellow naming wildflowers, lists off the constellations, Southern Cross, Flying Fox, Bernice's Hare, Winged Horse, Great Dog, Water Bearer, Painter's Easel, Chained Maiden. Mole's deep voice, sunk like the roots of a tree, sturdy, reassuring, you just know he's right. <laughs>